Let's talk Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan got jacked to play the Winter Soldier. I mean, look, it's just what happens when you get the call from Marvel. And he didn't have long. They called me and they said I had like six months to really try and train and they wanted me to put on weight and all that stuff. And that's kind of when we really started. And I feel like that's when my body really changed. Six months, just six months. And I love the fact that this was Sebastian Stan's goal. Please just make me look good naked. Bottom line is, just want to look good naked. I'm going to be, going to be honest with you. I mean, it helps if your best mate is Don Saladino, celebrity superstar trainer. It kind of helps, right? You and I really took the time to kind of figure out what my strengths and weaknesses were, you know? And I know a lot of people don't get that privilege, you know, to be able to have someone to work with. But you've always been a good communicator to be a step ahead of what some of us on our ends don't quite see about our bodies yet. But then like for Civil War, I knew these guys were gonna be massive. You know, around me, I was like, let's just get as thick as possible. And I think that's why, you know, we ended up getting big like that. And then, of course, they designed this new arm and then they fit me in like March or April. And then I had a break and I went back in like July and August and they were like, I guess you lift it because now we can't fit your arm in. Yeah, now I can't fit in the thing. So Sebastian Stan's trainer, Don Saladino, said, our goals were the same. We wanted to build as much lean muscle as possible and have our abs showing 365 days out of the year. Any acting push that I've gone to, for example, is always like, you got to start out in the gym because it's the same mindset of discipline. You know, you kind of make a repetition out of it. You know, you get up in the morning, it's not, you know, even on the weekend if it is, getting there for an hour, you know, get through it, push yourself through it, you're tired, do something. Like, it's going to motivate you to be more driven in the other aspects of your life. So, to get jacked, like Sebastian Stan, who, by the way, hit 200 pounds of lean muscle, he kicked things off with a solid warm-up. Sebastian Stan warm-up looked like this. Thoracic bridge, couch stretch, dynamic hamstring, dynamic quad, dynamic cat-cow, along with foam rolling for 15 minutes to focus on parts of the body that were knotted, that were hurt, or that were tense and tender. Stretches such as reach backs and hip flexors, along with a bunch of jump roping as well. Get a pull up bar and do 100 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 sit-ups. Do that once a day. You're going to be sore the next day. Even alternate it like with running and then do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday and, and run Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday. You're good. Just get to 100 and then once you get to 100, you move to the push-ups. Maybe you do 20 push-ups, then you're like, okay, you try to go for another 10, but you get five, now you're at 25. You wait, you do another five. You know, you just, however long it takes you, as long as you get to 100. Let's get into that Sebastian Stan workout. His trainer, Don Saladino, said, every day we kicked off with a heavy lift. There is this amazing muscle engagement that you can just feel when you pick up a big weight. I'm not saying it needs to be strenuous to the body where the system is freaking out. It just needs to feel heavy. The workout included dumbbell bench press, dips, dumbbell shoulder press, tricep rope push downs, cable rows, lat pull downs, dumbbell bicep curls, dumbbell hammer curls, rear delt flies, single leg squats, push ups. Of course, of course, you know this, right? Of course he was getting his push ups in. How do prisoners stay active? You know, it's like, it's like do your 200. 300 push-ups a day, you know, do those sit-ups, do those squats. Hey, look, if you're not doing those push-ups, check out my program. Link in the description. Get involved right now. It's a lot of push-ups. It's planks. I got those two kettlebells, so that's kind of good. It's like press-ups a little bit, swings. I mean, it's just trying to keep active. I think pull-ups and lateral pull-downs, those are always the greatest. I, I just, I love that, that exercise. I could do that all the time. Don Saladino said, never forget that exercise is not building muscle, it's tearing it down. The trainer added that Sebastian Stan had to keep eating small meals every two hours because proper nutrition allows for growth. Muscles need fuel. And if you're focusing on chest, for example, one day, and you aren't eating enough organic food and lean proteins, your body will not grow. If it's there's a shirtless thing or whatever, then at least a month before you cut out all the sugar. I mean, apples and raspberries, like just no sugar. And that means no carbs, right? But like even just no fruit and you can be a very irritable person. And then, and then your body gets through it. Like it gets adjusted after a week or two 
and suddenly you don't need that anymore. Like you're like, oh my God, I feel so much better because I'm your body's just running on clean food. Let's get into Sebastian Stan's diet. It was put together by his trainer, Don Saladino, who talks about the importance of dietary fat. He said Stan's body responded well to avocados, coconut oil, MCT oil, and almond butter. We didn't really stray from that because if you find something that works, you stick with it. He was eating every two hours, five to eight meals a day for a total of 5,000, 5,000 calories a day. Sebastian Stan's go-to foods are avocado, coconut oil, almond butter, rice cakes, honey, eggs, Brussels sprouts, chicken, fish, vegetables, and coffee. And talking about his diet, he says, I went for about four or five months where I wasn't hungry. I mean, I was just eating because I had to. He added, you can't even go to a restaurant because essentially you're just eating the same thing, you know, which is like chicken or fish or vegetables. When it comes to sleep, he was getting eight to 10 hours a night and Don Saladino suggests getting as much sleep as you can because this is where progress is developed. Anything with eggs and avocado, you have to have one day at least where you're, you know, treating yourself to whatever that may be, you know, whatever your favorite thing is to do. I don't know. You need to recharge, you know. I'll have tea and, and like coffee and then I'm writing and writing and suddenly I look and it's like 1, 1 p.m. and I haven't even like actually eaten something. I have a bunch of chicken breasts I'm going to basically grill in a pan later with olive oil and then some mustard and it's going to be what it is. Definitely a lot of peanut butter. I mean that bananas by the way because potassium. I bit the bullet too and I posted a, a you know a shirtless thing and, and but again I, I was like I literally was I need to know <laughs> that, that, that this actually has happened. I may not even ever get this this might be like a peak of sorts for me so i again but you do it to kind of motivate yourself you can be proud of those achievements go out there and own it so listen if you want to get ribs like a hollywood movie star and you're not best mates with don saladino i've got the program you need right now link in the description tap download get involved